Welcome back to East Rappo Central School District's Roundup Series. I'm Dr. Clarence Ellis, Superintendent. This first week of May is Teacher Appreciation Week. So let's thank them for the lasting contributions that they make in the lives of our children who are our future leaders and um, honor them this week. Since the onset of the pandemic, we realize how important technology is and that we will continue to use it to our advantage. We provided uh, Chromebooks for each of our students, hotspots for those that needed it, and appropriate training for, for staff to take advantage of the learning platforms. We also purchased Promethean boards for each of our classrooms throughout the entire district. We conducted a detailed needs assessment in November 2021 to obtain a proper understanding of the district technology needs. We received feedback from staff and we collaborated with principals to conclude where the gaps were in terms of equipment, digital tools, and training. The technology could be used to improve the quality of the instructional delivery. We had a smart board. There were some faulty issues, some glitching, so it was really hard to have the students engage themselves. Our classroom wants to do so much more. So I said, let's try and write some letters. Within 24 hours, I got a message and I was like, hey, we're coming in to check in your smart board. And I was like, no way. Since then, we have successfully installed more than 200 brand new Promethean boards in classrooms throughout the district, and the response has been outstanding. Interactive panels like the Promethean boards are a classroom tool that allows teachers and students to interact with their lessons using a pen or even touch. It's a great piece of powerful technology to have in a classroom. Just incorporating tech, I can live cam in class and actually demonstrate and show the students where I want to be in a musical score. It's, it's going to bump up my A-game teaching, which I'm really excited. Are you ready to learn? Yeah! We've been able to have some intense math competitions. We've been able to do more cahoots, um, quizzes, interactive games on the smart board. They're able to link up their computer with it. The science is always hands-on, so to the extent that we can get the kids up and moving around, or touching things, or doing things, it's a multifaceted interactive tool. Technology tools like the interactive panels and Chromebooks increases the level of engagement between teachers and students and also makes the learning process more fun. It helps me learn and I like it because it doesn't glitch anymore. It doesn't glitches or make problems. The other board wasn't smart, so why do we call it smart board? Thank you for reading board! East Rappo Central School District does not tolerate discrimination in any form whether it's in the school buildings, on the school bus, in school property. Dignity Act coordinators have been selected in each school building. Our children can go to these Dignity Act coordinators to report incidents where they've experienced bullying, harassment, or discrimination. It's a confidential, anonymous mechanism for our children to get the service they need and keep them on it emotionally well so they can thrive academically. And these Dignity Act coordinators are trained by the state in the most recent strategies and up to the Respect for All initiatives. This aligns nicely to one of our goals of providing a safety, health, supportive, and challenging environment for our students because if a child does not feel safe and emotionally well in the school, there's no way they can function academically. And that, that's our ultimate goal. Safety is first. Uh, order will precede learning in this case. Please be reminded that on May 17th is our annual budget vote as well as our trustee election for the board. Uh, please come out and vote. Your vote is, your vote is important and, and you know, your input is valuable. That's all for this month's Roundup series and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.